What is going on everyone? My name's Boyt and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology, the Titans action spawning in the bottom of the map in the blue color playing as Ra. His name is Ulysses. His opponent today in the red color playing as Poseidon. His name is Squash. And let's fix that up so that we can now watch this on smooth speed. We've got Poseidon, we've got Ra, we've got Oasis. These guys played three games. It was not a best of, so I'm not spoiling anything. I don't know who won this game, uh, but they did play only three games. So this is the final of the three games. Squash moving out now. He's going to be jumping over here onto his Zebra. He's only finding two Zebra. So sometimes Oasis can be a really, really good map for Poseidon. Sometimes Oasis can be very, very sucky. So in this case, only two Zebra is kind of nightmare situation. Uh, and we've also got only three Giraffe. So this is 300 food more than the worst possible hunt you can get on Oasis. Now, it depends what strategy or what initial build uh, the Ra player chooses to go as to how good this is for the Ra player. Now, our Ra player here has not found his hunt. Or if he has found his hunt, he's only found one zebra. So what he's going to do here, and this is really smart, he's going to go for husbandry straight away. He's going to scout with his pharaoh, and he's going to be able to get two town center, uh, fast heroic off of two town center with his rain tar strat. And he's gonna be, it's going to be an economic build. Uh, and what I mean by this is normally you see Ra play or well, Ra players when they see high hunt, they'll go for the hunt, they'll go for fast advanced times, they'll get their second town center up and they'll go for some sort of timing is normally the best play. On Oasis, when you don't have any hunt, going for a later advanced time is perfectly good and reasonable. Getting yourself husbandry, eating all your chicken first and then moving on to your goats to advance is really, really good. Um, but the problem we're actually having here for... Uh, Ulysses, he's, he hasn't found enough goat. He hasn't found enough goat. There's one goat he missed here, and he has, hasn't found his hunt either. He's missed goat over here. He didn't come over here and grab his canopic drive. Im said it's not the best relic, but it's there. And there's a boots of kick for everything relic here, which is the plus 10% hero move speed relic. Uh, but these villagers are finishing up over here, and we'll see where they're going to be going. It looks like he is going to move over here onto this giraffe. Uh, I don't like this. If you choose to go to husbandry, you should just sit in your base and find your goats. Do not bring the pharaoh back home until you find like eight goats. Uh, that's generally the strat because you know that, I don't know how well Ulysses really scouted here, but he did spot these giraffe. You know that there's only two zebra, or you should know there's only two zebra. They are potentially stolen. No, he's found this one here, but that they are potentially stolen from the as the Poseidon player with the lure. But there's only two zebra, there's only three giraffe. Better to just stay safe in your base and get there. But I guess uh, Ulysses has decided he hasn't found enough food. And he's actually going to have to move out onto those ones. Uh, unfortunately yeah. for him. Now let's check out how Squash's build is going right now. Remember, he has a similar issue given only two Zebra over here. What this means for Squash is that even Poseidon, even Poseidon is going to struggle here to get to the second age quickly. So we're not going to be seeing a 330 here from Squash. He's currently on his herdables. Does he have himself husbandry? He does not have husbandry just yet. Uh, and he is currently eating food from the baboon, currently getting his uh, prayer, his favor in from the villager here on the temple as the uh, giraffe walks in for his prob possibly only amount of food that this lure is going to get. I mean, the baboons are not bad. They give 100 food a piece. I believe it's not 75 food. Is it 100 food? 100 food? It is 100 food, yes. So it's not bad, and they do have 45 HP, but you can kill them quite easily with the town center assisting. So it's it's still hunt, it's still good, still should eat that. Uh, but this lure has not really stolen the hunt that he would have liked to have away from Ulysses. So Ulysses is in an okay position here, but like I said, it's going to be a tough one to get to that second age. You can see 13 villages on food right now. We've even got the herdables making a move over onto this food situation. If the Katoska boss spotted that, he should have come over and stolen those. Could have been very, very annoying. Uh, but nice play from Ulysses. He's going to be able to reduce that walking time. And continue in this game. Squash now. He's going through uh, Hermes up very, very late. And and this is great. This is a this is a fantastic sort of opening here. This is going to be uh, preventing a lot of that 
early game abuse that Poseidon can do. We are seeing uh, Squash moving forward with his Theseus now. Going to be finding these villagers over here and start harassing them. As we are seeing, the Katoska bot's going to turn in. As Ulysses just says, no, nah, get out of here. I'm going to shank you. You are leaving. Feels good. As the Jason is going to move in. Boom. Walks in and will start... Uh, Probably, probably causing some pain, but with English. the difference here with this this pressure the squash is going to put on, it's really not that good when you have this Thank many you. villagers here. Uh, and we are just going to see squash just going to be kind of moonwalking around here, trying to harass, getting in a couple of shots. At this point, I mean, squash. all squash needs to do is get to the next age and then his pharaoh can start slinging stones and it's going to be fine. Uh, it is a little bit of harass, but... You know, it is what it is. And there's the Hermes coming through for Squash. Pharaoh going to be retreating away. Village is going to turn around and start shanking the uh, the Jason. And this uh, second age is almost through 80% of the way. It's very, very late here. And look at this Jason. It's just being a complete, completely obnoxious series. Now the Santa are going to come in. What is Squash doing now? We do see that Hippolyte is in. Town Centre coming down. I'm surprised to not see that third Town Centre coming down immediately, considering how late the advance is here. Uh, and we are going to be moving over here, trying to get this town center up. The villagers still having to shank okay. away. It's not a bad idea to bring your priest over here as well. We are seeing the Wadget come in as well. Uh, this might be a, a situation where where Ulysses might actually have to use him his uh, his shifting sands here as the centaur comes in. He's going to start shooting at this villager, getting a lot of good damage done. A lot of good damage done. One villager will be going down as now the Wadget comes in. We'll be pushing the Centaur away. Odysseus is on the way. This Pharaoh, very, very low HP. 25 HP remaining here and does manage to take that uh, uh, that Theseus down. Picks up the Relic. Going to try and take that one away. There's the Shifting Sand into the home base that we were talking about in order to get this Town Center up. And that's going to be perfectly fine for Squash. He's going to be very, very happy with the situation that he's in now. Uh, having taken away the Shifting Sand having done so much damage over to Ulysses and we are seeing Shadoof come in Plow coming in as well finishing up the hunt and then he will start his farms two town centers is up now for Squash still no third town center there's the third town center so Squash is going for this big big boom that we've seen time and time again here from Poseidon players now the thing is here had this been maybe a different game had this been a different game here, I think I think Ulysses against three town centers might be able to hit the Horus timing. But because of everything that's happened thus far, not having Shifting Sands is a real big loss for Ulysses. Shifting Sands is like that, that nail in the coffin after a ceasefire is cast. So you hold on to Shifting Sands until ceasefire is cast and then you're pushing in on one location with a bunch of units and then you shift over onto the other town center. So say we're pushing this town center with spearmen and, and siege towers and stuff. Your opponent's over here defending. Uh, you've cast Tornado, they cast Ceasefire. You hang here and then you send a spearman over here and then you can Shifting Sands all your units from one location over the other. Take the town center down, take the town center for yourself and win the game but that's not an option here for Ulysses because of how poor the early game has gone for him it's that timing attack it's going to be too slow and squash is going to be too ready to defend that one so the best option actually now for uh, Ulysses is to try and take this game late game so he's got to really secure the walls and secure this corner of the map to make sure he can start training trading make sure he gets this town center his gold mines are perfect for uh, rushing uh, or playing for the late game here. Uh, and that basically means that Squash here, he has to think about how is he going to play the late game? Because there's not really a way for him to win here. Uh, there are, is some world where an Artemis timing push might be able to take the win, but uh, I don't think we see that too often here. Uh, especially against top tier players like Ulysses. Uh, maybe, maybe at the lower level, uh, Artemis can kill off raw players, but here, I don't think it's going to work out too well. Uh, Squash is getting out all of his farms right now. He's got 16 villages on food, 15 on wood, 7 on gold. You can see he's only got one stable up thus far. He probably doesn't even need that stable just yet. He's actually on the rain currently with how many farms? Getting himself up to 10 farms. Has himself husbandry, plow, pickaxe, hand axe. Let's see what Ulysses has got. Pickaxe, plow, husbandry. 
Uh, and if we actually check out as you go into the next stage, he's going through Hathor. So the one thing that you need to be doing here while going to the Heroic Age with, with Ra, is make sure you get that Shaft Mine. And then behind that, make sure you get, uh, make sure you get the Irrigation as soon as you hit the Second Age. Super important to get those as soon as you possibly can. We are having to see a second mining camp coming in here as these uh, this Hippolyta's range is a, a little bit obnoxious here as he's able to shoot over you. You might want to just build a mining camp on this side and just you and just cut, cut your losses because uh, Squash has just been a little bit annoying here. And what's Squash doing? More villagers coming up. We are seeing an armory coming down now for Squash. More stables coming down as more walls coming through. Just securing the map. Whenever your opponent goes for a fast heroic, you can have free reign until like a minute or two after they've hit the heroic age before you're going to have to worry about your villagers getting targeted down. So you can just wall those off and be completely fine here. You know, seeing the priest coming over here, going to be healing up this pharaoh excruciatingly slow as the centaur is uh, sneaking in, possibly going to try and snipe a villager. There's not really any low HP villagers here anyway, so it looks like the centaur will be falling. There we go, does fall, and the rock will be moving forward as the Hippolyta does need to start moving away. Otherwise, the rock will get some value. N normally, you want to just predict where that... Uh, predict where that rock is going, but right now we're seeing the Hippolyta getting sacked here. How much favor does Squash have in the bank? He's got 26, so he can very easily get himself that back, as we are seeing Aphrodite coming through as the rock is flying in. One very simple way you can slow the, if you're very concerned about how far in front your opponent is, um, or especially a Greek player, is you can just hit a Locust onto the farms. That does a lot more damage than you'd think because it's so much wood you get to take out. Instead of the food of the villagers, take the farms out. It's very similar and very guaranteed damage. Uh, so you can think about doing that. And now what is what is Ulysses doing here? Still no third talent center. This is a big question mark move because if he's not going to the third talent center, it means he's going for a timing in the Heroic Age or going for a Mythic Age push. So he doesn't have his market up. So it's looking like there is some sort of idea of a timing in... Well, either that or he's just going to try and raid his opponent to death. But I mean, the rock's here so he can jump over these walls. Or we can just try and take them down is another option. Uh, but now we do see one villager has been sniped with the help of that Wadget coming in to take that one down. Nice play there from uh, from Ulysses to take that one. He's going to be leaving that location now. And that might actually bring the Hippolyta over to the other side. And he can actually move to like the bottom side and swing back around, kind of juking around that Hippolyta. But there's the Nemean Lion out now for Squash. I've uh, got the villagers coming over with that pharaoh still holding on to the relic that makes him faster. This relic's actually kind of useful for Son of Osiris. Helps the survivability quite a bit there. We will be seeing that uh, that gate taken down as some units going to come over and greet these camelry. You'll see still not too many units out. He's still pumping out those uh, those camelry here, but not not really doing too much. And we just see that ball getting very calmly placed back up here. Oh, and there's the Apollota going to be spotting the rock, but Squash not paying attention. Unfortunately, as the rock just floats on by and he's going to start saying hi to the villagers in the main base of Squash. Over here, we do see the Nemean line is going to be enough to force these camelry away. Uh, and how Squash's economy is looking right now, he's going through a Feistus already. This is a crazy build here from Squash. He is known to be one of the strongest macro players in the game. And what is Ulysses doing? Ulysses is three town centers. This is similar to that Aranos game. I'm just confused about what he's trying to do. Because getting this third town center after all of these units when your opponent's on three town centers simply just doesn't make that much sense. Oh, and the Hippolyta takes down the rock without the units being dropped. So that's beautiful play there from Squash. A bit of a misplay really from uh, from Ulysses. He should have dropped those down. Definitely could have killed off a couple more units. And there's the curse coming in onto this location uh, by Ulysses. He's going to be able to try and take down some of these uh, these Prodromus here. Now, the Camelry do have bonus damage against the Prodromus as well. So, they don't necessarily trade evenly, though. The Prodromus win very, very easily. So, now starting to see uh, Ulysses get himself Medjai over here. Fortified town centers, but Squash is 93 pop. He's just about through Hephaestus here in a very, very strong position. We're starting to see the most matrius markets you've ever seen in your entire life getting shot up over here. So that's uh, that's funny. And now we've got the chemo walls coming in. He's going to be able to take down that villager. 
preventing the double walls. And now we've started to see the the donkey caravans coming through. Lots of villagers on the favor. We've got the armories coming through. There's the Hephaestus. We'll throw down his plenty vault somewhere. There he goes with that plenty vault at the back of his base. We do have heavy cavalry now through for Ulysses, who's still not on the way to the next age. Lots of wood in the bank, maybe too much. How is his economic upgrades looking? He's got irrigation. He's got shaft mine. He's got everything he needs to have here in this game. But the Prodromus now are out in force, and that's going to force these... Uh, Camelry's away from him. Nice play from Squash. Still, he's just preventing everything he needs to. We've got this lion over here just tempting fate building this market here. But the market is up. No walls over here. He has to deal with that lion to get his walls up to defend his trade route. Uh, but now Squash is going to be getting himself Forge of Olympus still with villagers onto the temple here. Uh, and there's the flood control coming through for Squash as well. Very aware of how useful that one is for the Greek civilization. Uh, and we are still seeing some micro over here from Ulysses trying to deal with these Prodromus as best as he can. He's actually doing it quite nicely as these Prodromus are mostly falling. But we do have the Colossus coming over here with the help of that Theseus. It's going to be a little bit too tough for him to win this fight. So he does retreat away. Meanwhile, we've got some side stables coming up now for uh, Squash here as he's trying to put some pressure onto this gold mine and prevent Ulysses from grabbing that one there. But the siege works coming up now as well. Do we have that Mythic Age yet? Yes, we do. He is going through Osiris, so no surprises there. Uh, Osiris is really, really important to have those, uh, at this stage here, to have those mummies to deal with the Colossus. If you don't have the mummies to deal with the Colossus, it's very tough to deal with them. You can use Avengers, but then the Polyphemus can kill those off very easily. And normally you see the Colossus and Polyphemus teaming up quite a bit. So it can be really, really tough to deal with uh, the Colossus-Polyphemus uh, combo. Uh, and now you'll see he's still very low on units here. He needs to be making some chariot arches. He's got himself heavy chariots here. Can start making some of that siege coming through, but not siege, mercenary coming through to deal with this. And now we do see the Colossus is in. This Pharaoh is still very, very low on the HP as, as you need to have it idle in order to heal it quickly. But that's not what we're seeing just yet. The Prodromus are now heavy as he's got heavy cavalry in. Uh, and now we're seeing uh, Ulysses is going to try and push back onto this location here, still waiting for that side of that side of Osiris to get cast at 78, 80 HP here. Maybe he doesn't want to cast it just yet. He does have this forward temple here, building a mummy out to deal with that Colossus as Squash is pushing forward. How are those upgrades looking? Nearly full bronze for uh, Squash, whereas Ulysses is only at uh, full copper. And there's the Polyphemus coming in as well. The mummy is walking through now. Needs to deal with that Colossus. Do we see? Got some uh, barracks coming out. We don't have a second hill fort anywhere, I don't think. No, we do not. Well, there it is. It's over here. He's got two hill forts over here. He's actually got some military buildings coming up onto this location. As the walls are getting thrown down over here. But the, now we're seeing it looks like Ulysses is holding on to this location here. As Squash is going to be retreating away. The fortress is coming up now for Squash. Uh, and into you. Absolutely brutal here. Did I say Hillfort, Fortress? Whatever. Hillfort, Migdal, Stronghold, it's all the same thing. Castle! Castle! Now I see the mummy retreating away here. You gotta be careful with that mummy. You don't want to be throwing him away to, uh, to an Atlanta. That's a nice play from Squash to deal with that, and he's going to be able to push back in. There's the son of Osiris in here. And it's. One of the few models that uh, that that Ensemble Studios forgot to have carry a relic on is the son of Osiris. I believe even Amanra carries the relic properly, or there's a weird unit that carries the relic correctly. Anyways, son of Osiris is going to be shooting, doing its thing in the back here. You see these Hippocon hoplites getting dealt with. Meanwhile, over on this side, we're starting to see a thyroid coming out by Squash. Pretty brutal. Hatairoi, very, very strong at this stage of the game. Once you see Hatairoi, the only real answer is the uh, crenellation Towers. But this is essentially the game that Ulysses has got to play here is defend, defend, defend until you win. 
and we'll see if that's going to be something he's going to be able to do here. And squash, look at those resources. He's got so much wood in the bank. I want to consider throwing down some more farms here. He's got himself the perfect market in this corner, starting to make those uh, those donkey caravans out. Uh, he's got so many of those, but he's continuously getting pushed back over here. Squash 136 of 160 population. Ulysses 157 of 160 population. Throwing up that Migdal stronghold. Yet again, we are going to be seeing this wall get taken down as we are seeing some uh, cavalry coming over here. And there's the watchtowers we were talking about. Still no crenellations here, uh, but he will be getting that fairly soon, I'm sure, as he's also getting himself the monument to the priest here. Definitely want to make sure you've got that favor in order to get a, uh, a titan out just in case. Uh, and now the, this Hatiroi getting uh, blocked by the stone walls, but not going to be enough. If they do push through, we've got some barracks coming up over here. These uh, Conta uh, Contaris, these Tyre do not have weapons of the Titans just yet, so they're missing out on just a little bit of extra damage. Uh, and they don't exactly trade well into the Camelry at all, but that's why there's some Hoplite over here as well. Now we see the Heliopoli are starting to get produced by Squash. More towers coming up for uh, Ulysses as the defense is really, or the tower defense, I should say, is really going to start heating up here. Uh, Ulysses can probably start making some... A mercenary here this this technology i don't know if it does it actually pay for itself 400 gold 400 resources you need to get back from getting tax collectors and that's if you have to sell but i guess maybe he wants to sell wood and gold wooden food for more gold at some point i don't know but right now squash is uh, infiltrating here. And this is going to be really tough because now, well, Ulysses could chuck up a market over here and trade to this town center. It wouldn't be that bad. But he's going to, he has to fight this off and he's not set up over here. And Squash is just building spamming at this point. Every building is going to be a militia that he's going to have to deal with as well. So it can be very, very tough for him. Meanwhile, we are seeing the catapults trying to push out here, but just more buildings will be, get thrown up. Uh, Squash has just got resources up the wazoo, currently floating 2k resources in the bank here. So even if he loses the fortress, the militia flood in and then he can rebuild the fortress behind it. No problems really. But Squash, I don't think he cares too much. If you can get over here, we are seeing some mercenary cavalry coming in here. I'm going to see Ulysses send some villages over here. He is building some Migdal strongholds. Not the worst idea, but definitely needs to get those towers up if he wants to continue to hold here. And now we see Polyphemus walking over here. going to start thwacking away at these catapults. So much, so much value here in Polyphemus. Currently just killed two catapults. That pays for two Polyphemus right there. 200 wood, 200 gold a piece. There's... There's uh, another another Polyphemus that's been paid for uh, as he's just walking in here. We've still got this Son of Osiris very much alive here, moving at 3.96 speed, given the extra 0.4 speed he gets from that relic. It's a very, very nice here. Very, very nice here. Uh, and Squash still hasn't figured out a way forward, but he's infiltrated and maybe getting some Prodromus out here. Wouldn't be a bad idea. More Hoplites in here as well, getting himself heavy infantry. Wouldn't go astray. It's not doing that just yet. Weapons of the Titans, has that come through just yet? No, it is called that, right? I'm not wrong. I get confused some from time to time. It is Weapons of the Titans. This gives yourself an extra 20% hack damage to your Hatairoi and reduce the train time of your Hatairoi as well. It's very, very much worth it. But Squash is continuously sitting very low on the population here. I'm not sure if he's saving this to, uh, like, opening up his pop to do a big push somewhere or if he's saving for a certain technology. It looks like he's getting himself the Divine Blood over here as well so he can spam buildings faster, getting this fortress up yet again. And now we see a, a random Hatairoi just sneaking into the base that's going to de get dealt with by the... The tower's there. Let me see some more market. Well, let's get this market up in a safer location here as he's kind of defended over here with these towers. Do we probably need to see some Heliopolis over here as well? But while that's going on, Squash is going to get pushed back slowly over here. There's not enough villages here for Squash building, and this fortress needs to be up for it to give himself those militia. And nice play from Ulysses to notice that. Take it down before it goes up. 
That's going to force this villager away. And there's the champion infantry as well. As the Hatiroi are going to take down this, uh, this watchtower here. The Hoplite's walking in. And we will be seeing Squash finally getting up that fortress over in the corner here to start getting some Heliopoli through. Now the market's up, just delete those markets. Concede some ground and then start slow pushing back through here is the only real way forward. We do see a stray Petropolis coming out for Squash as well as this catapult is going to be taking down the fortress here. Nice play. One thing that Squash could try as well is infiltrating this location as well, because this is just as good as the corner, because if he gets into here, he can get onto this trade route and prevent this town center from being grabbed uh, in terms of the trade. So we'll see if that's going to be something that occurs to him, because this wall here is very, very aggressive. And I mean, Ulysses could just wall this off 15 million times, like ultimate chemo style, but not happening. As you'll see, he's still got a lot of resources in the bank. Still doing completely fine here. The uh, mercenary cavalry walking forward here. He's got this double fortress up now for squash. Nice play. Uh, and this uh, Petropolis is doing quite nice here. You do see the stray uh, Prodromus coming through. This son of Osiris does so much damage here to those uh, to those Prodromus. Look at this damage. Bam! Basically finished him off. Another catapult coming in. Nice garrison marker from Ulysses over here. Making sure to keep that alive for as long as possible. Uh, we do have uh, no desert wind. You are absolutely correct there. More watchtowers coming up here. Four squash is going to slowly strangle Ulysses here. This is just classic late game Poseidon. Uh, but squash is slowly falling behind on score. Which does mean that squash is running out of resources. Uh, or not trading efficiently. So not trading efficiently is completely fine here in the late game. So as long as you're not losing ground, that's fine because there's not really anything you can gain from with resource, apart from maybe a Titan or a Wonder. But this is uh, what we might be seeing. is definitely a Wonder here. Now we will be seeing a Tyroid pushing through this gate. Nice play here from Squash opening this up a little bit, but nice reaction from Ulysses trying to get up this wall over here to delay the units from pushing through here. But now the Heliopoli, look at these bad boys go. You do kind of need spearmen in here to deal with these because they just deal so much damage. Uh, and this, bu <laughs> this building spam is so obnoxious from Squash. What what can you really do as, as Ra to push through this? Like You can spam Mercenary in and, and just slowly take them down, maybe. There goes another Migdol as the Heliopolis now going to be moving over to take down the market. And this is going to be even more ground lost as the slow push is continuing here. And what is Squash really trying to do here? He's still full population. He's starting to mine gold from this location. He's got military buildings everywhere. We do have some side builds coming through for, for Ulysses here. He's getting some barracks up on this location. He has managed to clean up most of these units that are over here. Now we see the Heliopolis taking down the market here. He's going to go after this market as well. And the Tyroi <coughs> does go down as well. We see the Son of Osiris getting that damage done. Picking up all these units nicely as the Migdal Strongholds coming up now for Ulysses. is going to get denied by Squash. Nice play yet again. Uh, but Watchtower's coming down and like... This is just this is just how it works. This is just the slow push from Squash, and it's looking like because Ulysses was not able to be set up fast enough, he's going to lose his trade route. How many resources in the bank currently for Ulysses? Not many. 280, 300 gold in the bank there. And now seeing yet again the, build, the the buildings just holding fast over on this location, and, and Squash is seeing a very very nice opportunity here. Do, do we have that market? We do have the market changing locations now for. Uh, Ulysses is going to go for this market here uh, here now, but he's going to be losing this Migdal Stronghold, and this is a, a very, very important amount of time that Squash is gaining on Ulysses here. He's going to take the Migdal down. He's going to continue to flood in buildings here. I would love to see Squash get in and just spam a butt-ton of towers here uh, just to make sure that he can deal with those mercenaries that are going to be coming out of here. Or even like go back over onto this location. Looks like maybe Squash has overdone it on these donkey caravans a little bit. Not 100% sure. And we do see the son of Osiris still helping out quite a bit, but 
Is it enough? As what's Ulysses currently at 136 of 160 population. Still trying to spam those mercenaries, those uh, those camel caravans coming in, dumping off that much needed gold here as the Heliopoli now can start targeting down the town center. We do see villagers getting pulled in here to try and hold on as Ulysses making those mercenary cavalry as best as he can. These villagers over here for squash do not need to be gathering resources right now. Get in here, get buildings up. That's that's the way forward. You're allowing Ulysses to stay alive for just that little bit too long here. There's more towers coming in. We just see this Atlanta now going to be uh, jogging over here to try and take down the son of Osiris. One jab, two jabs, 52 HP, 43 HP. And he does get that garrison there to keep that son of Osiris alive. It's probably been one of the most, uh, most livable. I don't know what the uh, the correct word is, but most livable son of Osiris I've seen in a, in a while now. Still alive after nearly 10 minutes here. Uh, we do see the Heliopolis is back in here, but he needs to be targeting down the town center. Son of Osiris coming back in. We do see immediately the Prodromus is going to be targeting that down, but Ulysses quickly garrisoning that one out uh, of the damage there. Nice play. Still seeing Catapult trying to come over here to take down these buildings, but they just get put back up straight away. Starting to see the uh, Watchtower get taken down here. And we just see these villagers desperately trying to get this gold mine. But with one champion Hippocon, this thing lives forever. It does tons of damage. We'll take down these villagers incredibly quickly. And there, oh, the Son of Osiris still alive. Ulysses grasping onto hope here with the Son of Osiris. We're now starting to see Spearman come through. And the answer to Spearman normally is Hoplite here. Uh, as Swash has kind of already predicted this as he's making those Hoplite. Heliopolis trying to take this town center down. It's got a lot of HP remaining. Ulysses with not much gold in the bank here. He's down to four gold. Son of Osiris here, 22 HP, 15 HP. Garrisoning yet again, 15 HP remaining. Will it fall? Will the Son of Osiris fall? He's gonna have to start ga uh, empowering the town center here to keep this alive. Uh, Squash not paying attention for the time being. We're still seeing more units come over here, taking down these villages. Got some hoplites coming over here. Son of Osiris still 9 HP remaining here. Town center very, very low on the HP. We've even got the polar from his back in yet again, trying to empower this town center to keep it alive. 1,000 HP remaining here as the mercenary are continuing to pop out. Titan Age coming through for Squash now, as Squash has just got resources up the wazoo. So many resources here for Squash. We've got the Polyphemus coming in onto this town center now, going to be starting to take this one down. Son of Osiris, 9 HP, still getting value, utilizing that to uh, take down the Polyphemus very, very quickly. Another Heliopoli is coming in. More guard towers need to be thrown down for Squash here to just continue to push in here. Squash, 160 pop. Ulysses, 160 pop. Town center is still alive. Meanwhile, over here, Hatiroi taking down the Migdal strongholds, taking down the buildings on this location. He can take down the market as well if he needs to. Town center, 1,700 HP remaining here as the Hippocon walking in. Doxodes, Hoplites, everything else getting that damage done. The Hatiroi going to walk in here as the guard towers get that uh, juicy damage in, but he just needs more. Does he still have these villagers over here? I'm so angry that he's sitting on, what is it, 1,300 gold? 1,100 gold, nearly 2,000 gold, still mining gold. He does not need this. Just get in here and, and get that those towers up, but uh, we do see Ulysses, he is still managing to keep his town center alive for the time being, but the Migdol stronghold getting very, very low. A couple of villages repairing it though, and Ulysses will be holding this as these buildings are just inching closer and closer. Another fortress coming up now for uh, Squash. He's going to get himself that Polyphemus back in yet again to push in, and now the tower spam is commencing that I was talking about, and now we need to see Catapult over here for Ulysses to hold on. The Heliopolis will start taking down this town, town center here as uh, best as he can. Lord of the Horses comes through as a bit of a funniness here. That Lord of the Horses does four line of sight for Squash, which is heaps, right? So much value in that that Squash is just like, I can kind of get everything here. And meanwhile, these villagers are getting sniped over here as the catapult dealing with those stables. Bolifem is slowly going to take this town center down. These villagers trying to throw up their own watchtowers here. 
They do have themselves Crenellations. That's going to be very big help. And the Guard Tower coming up over here. Get down a couple more. Keep going. Keep pushing. The more Guard Towers, the better. They take down these Mercenary Cavalry so fast. Heliopolis coming back in. We do see a Pharaoh in onto this location to help empower keeping the Town Center alive even longer. Uh, but you can target this down with like the Heliopolis as well. We just see this uh, siege works here in order to produce those catapults to take down the, the uh, towers. Have to be very aware of that as we see the Heliopolis moving around here. Got to get that Hippocon onto that one. Where is this Heliopolis going? Must have been a bit of a misclick here uh, as this fight is still happening. And Ulysses is still trying to hold on in this game with next to no resources in the bank. Obviously squash too many resources here. It could easily take off 15 or so of these food villages and send those forward. No questions asked. He would have plenty of food income, uh, but not happening here. One thing to note is when you get to the late game, when you get to the late game, you don't need to have 100 villages anymore. Once you have every upgrade, you've got nothing to spend it on anymore apart from your like 160 pop units. So you don't need to have 100, 100 villages. Maybe 60 villages in the late game is completely fine. 80 villages in the late game, not, not 100 plus. And now we've got the Petropolis out. This is going to be very tough to take down. Heliopolis coming in as well. Meanwhile, these spearmen are going to take down this fortress finally after I don't know how long. Some catapults coming in to help out as well. Thank you. As the Heliopolis Petropolis combo uh, slowly taking it down. And there's no Pharaoh over here anymore. There's no priest over here to empower this. So it's not repairing faster than the damage is getting dealt. And the town center in the 31st minute of this game will be falling here for the first time. And in that moment, Ulysses decides the game is lost. He has nowhere to breathe on this map. Squash strangled him for the entire game. And finally, Ulysses taps out. GG, well played. A masterclass here from Squash in playing the Poseidon uh, Ra matchup. I just would have, I think that if Ulysses had grabbed this third town center as soon as he hit the heroic age or much earlier, I feel like he would have been in a better place economically. And then you do similar strat, except instead of uh, kind of getting upgrades and stuff, you just spam buildings out, towers out on all of your important locations so your opponent can't infiltrate. And then you can slowly. Uh, utilize the rock to get rock drops in and uh, try and take down the opponent's town centers and 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 side builds with your rocks dropping villages in uh, onto your opponent's base and, and trying to play around that aspect of your advantage in the late game. Uh, nothing else really works here. And that's just a product of this specific map. There's lots of other strategies that Ra can employ uh, in order to beat Poseidon, but unfortunately... For Ulysses, this one did not work in this game. If you guys enjoyed this game, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTubes, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next game.